I wish you could see my ring light right now because I have a, a, a runner, like a plant that sort of like runs everywhere. It's like a hanging plant. And it's like, that's just sort of like crawled through the actual ring light. Perfect. That's, that's when you know that your plants have a personality. I mean, we all knew that, but there's your proof. Okay, let's talk about full moon and what we can actually do with this energy, shall we? We're, we're not going to make a ritual. I know, shocker, right? We're actually going to create a release and I will walk you through how you can create your own release ritual without me walking you through another, you know, setup, meditation, actual journaling. But I wanted to talk to you about what you can do when things are consistently coming up for you and how you can use the energies of the moon so that it shifts you into the right direction. If that sounds good to you, then let's get started. Hey guys, it's Meshi with Path to Wellness with Meshi. Thank you so much for joining me, for sharing your energy with me. I'm so glad that you are here. If you are brand new here to my channel, welcome. We usually chat here about three times a week, each week. Sometimes that schedule kind of changes, but we are all about intentional living, uh, living a more mindful, more conscious, more connected life. And we talk about a little bit of everything. Sometimes we bullet journal, other times we dive into anxiety management videos, and other times we just, Kind of take a look at what's non-toxic in the beauty world so if you ever if that's what you're looking for you will love this channel consider subscribing but without keeping you here further let's talk about the full moon so full moon energy right now we entered into scorpio as of saturday so feel the energetic shift and if you're brand new to lunar cycles um i will leave a link in the show notes so that you can kind of take a look at some of my previous videos when we were not only talking about what lunar cycles are but how you can really connect to the cycles of the moon how you can live more sick in a cyclic way and ultimately what we really care about proof is in the pudding how can we work with this energy like how does that actually help us right that's what we're like really interested in so Full moon, regardless of like, you will see sort of a bunch of different people talk about the full moon and then they give you like the, you know, the zodiac sign, like breakdown of what you can expect, how that affects your own zodiac sign and all of that fun stuff. You can also talk to um, some of your friends that have more psychic abilities, get a reading done and all of that good, good stuff. And that's, that's cool. But what I personally care about is I like to find sort of the happy medium between the super woo and then something that, and someone who is like super not connected to the moon at all or not understanding why they should. So instead of creating another full moon ritual where we kind of go through the entire ritual once more and then we kind of figure out like what we're going to be releasing and I'm really placing a high importance on the whole release part of it, I really wanted to talk to you about the actual process of what may be coming up for you. And it's not sort of me like tapping into my psychic abilities, I'm not a psychic, but I am sort of a student as I am learning, I always kind of wanted to share what I learned and then maybe you will find it helpful if you're a few steps behind me. So full moon is definitely, this is where you feel the energy, the energetic shift of the moon the most because this is where the moon is illuminated the most, which also means that this is the time where you can actually use that energy of the moon to fully manifest whatever it is that is coming up for you. So emotions are going to be a lot stronger and you may find that you might find out of place. You might find yourself out of place. You might find yourself aggravated or perhaps you're finding yourself more energetic than ever and you're a lot more clear in your direction. But then as you're moving towards that direction, you might also find that there's a lot of stuff that's coming up. Well, the stuff that's coming up are your blocks, the blocks that each of us are going to have different blocks. And so the idea behind full moon energy is to not only move with greater momentum towards whatever it is that you're moving towards, whatever your goals, whatever your dreams, whatever your aspirations are, whatever will take you to that higher level of consciousness where you can fully... Point is that this is sort of when 
the energy of the moon is the strongest. And then in the next two weeks, as it wanes down, then this is sort of where we can kind of get more clarity around what actually is going to have to be left behind. Because, but the, the emphasis is not on the leaving behind. Although I will say that it is an important part of it because as you evolve, then you need to shift. And as you're shifting, then certain elements of you, certain characteristics of you do need to be left behind. You know what I mean? So I don't want to ignore the fact that certain elements of you need to be left behind because like that's sort of part of changing and evolving and, and growing as an individual. So here's... Here's the sort of the framework that I personally use and what has been coming up for me and how I'm working with that. And perhaps you will find some guidance within that realm. There's certain things that have been continuously coming up for me on a regular basis. And I've been trying to sort of figure out what is this telling me? And I'm taking my time to tune in to not so much. And I'm learning to not rush what, not rush to the end of that message, like whatever it is, is trying to come through. So I'm not, I'm not doing the whole, like, let's rush to the destination so that I can get there and I can figure it out and then I can be fully knowledgeable and then we're good to go. And then I can just keep on pushing forward. I'm, I'm doing the opposite of that right now, which is actually usually some people have problems with, you know, they're taking forever to start moving to a certain direction. I'm sort of the opposite. I like to take action pretty much right away without really comprehending what that message is. So I'm actually kind of doing the opposite of what my general, you know, history is of what I usually do. So instead of trying to sort of rush through the process, because, you know, like I'm starting to really embrace the idea of like, enjoy the journey. It's the journey, not the destination. It's, it's sort of the process of you evolving that sort of matters more. That's actually more meaningful rather than you getting to that thing or achieving that goal or whatever. Almost every single day right now, and the, that voice is getting louder and louder. And sort of that's where it's, by the way, if I look like I have like no idea what I'm talking about, that's because I'm trying to articulate it in a way that you can understand it, which makes it not sound so woo. So just bear with me for a second. If you have watched, and I will leave it in the show notes so that you can kind of understand which video I'm kind of piggybacking on. But if you have watched the five things that you need to pay attention to with this full moon, it's from Victor, I believe it's Victor Odo, who has articulated it really well. Like was, there's five things that are going to be coming up for you. But num one of the number one things that was that he mentioned that is coming up is to spread our wings and start flying. Well, spreading our wings um, is basically a huge part of that is really understanding like this is the direction that you need to be going into and just allow to not let fear or the uncertainty take over. And just, it's sort of like that leap of faith that understand that you're walking into the unknown, you're walking into something that you've never done before. Like in order for you to not only spread your wings and actually start flying, that means that it takes that level of jumping off that cliff and that leap of faith. And we all need to have that at some point. So what's coming up for me personally, consistently right now is that next direction, that next step that I need to take within my career and within my life that will make sense for me. That seems like the next sort of logical step, but also intuitively is the next right step for me. The other thing is, if that's coming up for you as well, perfect, then you and I are at, at the same spot, then let's do a check-in. And this is sort of where um, using something like the full moon, the energy of the full moon is going to help you quite a bit because that energy is so strong that it will allow you to tune in a little bit easier. So what you can do is if, if there's like nagging thoughts that are coming up for you consistently now in the like the last week or so, then what you can do is just do a self check-in. So I will walk you through it so that you kind of get where I'm coming from with this. But basically all you do is you close your eyes. We're going to take a deep breath through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And just let it out nice and slow. Perfect. So now what you can do is you can stand up. I'm not going to stand up right now, but you can stand up and just stand and see which way your body's swaying. Is it swaying more forward or is it swaying more back? Or are you really stable in the middle? 
If you're really stable in the middle, then that means that you're grounded in the energy right now. If you're finding that you're leaning more forward, then that means that you're pushing a bit too much. And if you're leaning back, then that means that you're sort of pulling away for some reason. And you can also, while you're standing, as you have your eyes closed, you can do a self check-in of where you're finding any constriction. Where are you finding that some sort of limitation or block is coming up for you, especially when you think of the thing that has been coming up for you consistently? And what is coming up for you? Are you finding that there's a sense of joy and excitement and it puts a smile on your face and you're you're open and you find that your heart and your chest is opening up and you're finding that it's you're leaning into the possibilities or are you finding that there's sort of some blocks that are coming up where you're feeling constrictions maybe in your abdomen maybe constrict constrictions um like in your chest it's closing down maybe maybe in your throat tune in where the constriction is coming from because that is your dead giveaway of sort of what what you need to pay attention to right now and sort of challenge that with why is that coming up for you and this would be a really good time to do that like i said because right now you will probably find that the energy is a lot stronger than normal it's going to be like that for the next two weeks as it's slowly waning back down to the new moon and then at the new moon, you can kind of see what your next steps are and what you want to do. And the other thing that you can do once you've done a self check-in is to journal. If you're looking for journal prompts, ultimately you're, you're looking to sort of just write down, do like a full brain dump and write down on paper what is coming up for you? How are you feeling within that moment, within with that thought, with that idea? What is this really trying to tell you? And then what's your next direction? Because sometimes we're just lacking clarity. Like I find personally for me, what's coming up is that I get overwhelmed by the thought of that one big thing because it just feels like I need to solve it. I need to do it right now. But if I break it down of what my next right step is, then that doesn't sound so scary because then I gain clarity on just that next right step. You know what I mean? So I want you to, I challenge you to really take take some time, take some time to just slow things down, tune in, do a guided meditation for five or 10 minutes and really just see if you can work with that energy of the moon and see what's coming up for you because it's going to be different for each of you you're going to be at a different stage in your journey in your wellness journey obviously and i think this is more about awareness than anything else the more you're aware of how you can work with the energies around us the more you're going to have a sense of control basically this is all I want to share with you guys. I would love to hear what's coming up for you. If anything, if you have sh if you have felt this major shift that is coming with that has come with the full moon, I would love to connect with you guys. If you are brand new to lunar cycles, um, like I mentioned earlier, you will see some of my previous videos of the full moon ritual that we have done before. Oh, and one more thing, full moon, what are we releasing? Take some time to not only journal what's coming up for you, but also what is the part of you that you are ready to release? What is the part of you that you're ready to leave behind? For me personally, what's coming up for me right now is that I am shifting into the next stage in my business, into the next stage of like, what is that next right step for me? It has become relatively clear of what direction I'm shifting towards. I am, as I like to call, dating the idea. And you will probably see that journey documented here on this channel as I'm sort of shifting and evolving in my own wellness journey. So obviously I will keep you guys updated you will see a shift here on this channel too obviously for the better i hope it's for the better i think it is for the better let's assume it is for the better because otherwise i would not have this strong gravitated pull towards it so there's that and what is ready to be left behind for me it's the level of self-doubt that i have when i overthink things and I somehow feel like I'm not worthy of even being part of a certain community. And that has been becoming really clear for me, which is exactly why I wanted to take that next step so that I don't feel that and I can create space for others to not feel that. Because having a sense of belonging is so, so important. Um, 
it just it, it's one of those core needs core fundamental needs that we all have as humans is to be able to connect and to stay within a tribe so that's what's been coming up for me this is the part of me that i'm willing to release at this given time where i am letting go of that fear of me not belonging anywhere because i do i belong to a lot of different places and the more i can let go of that thought of lack and not being enough the more i can allow abundance to to come into my space this is all i want to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you, you already know what to do you can give me a thumbs up you can subscribe you can hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time that i release a video the schedule is going to be wonky i'm not going to lie but we usually shoot for three videos a week which is kind of nice so that we can chat here and I hope you have yourself a wonderful week and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.